you may be more of a dog or a cat person, but reptiles are pretty popular with some pet owners as well. At one time, you could actually own an iguana, but not anymore. Fox 13's Ken Suarez is in Lakeland to tell us how reptile lovers are fighting back against the state's new rules that they say are just too restrictive. Ken? Hey, you know, let's just say you come here to Family Reptiles in South Lakeland and you decide to get a uh, ball python. Well, that's fine and dandy if you want to get a bearded dragon. That was okay, too. But if you ask for certain kinds, very specific kinds of reptiles, they could be banned. And a lot of reptile enthusiasts are very uptight over that whole situation. So they've gone to court to try and change it. You see that one back there? When Dominique Kennedy was a kid, he had something his son now can't have. Iguanas are cool. They're really awesome. Iguanas are on the FWC's prohibited list. So are tegus and Burmese pythons. You need a permit to have them, and it is pretty much impossible for anybody to get a new permit at this point. Family Reptile has a permit, but they're still under lock and key. So why are they back here? Well, they're back here. We have to have a double door entry coming into with the prohibited species into this room. They're locked in with a warning sign. Also, they don't escape. Too many non-native species already have. They've nestled into the Everglades and dine on native species. An FWC spokeswoman says non-native species can harm Florida's ecology and economy, as well as human health and safety. Well, we all agree there's a problem. There's no denying there's not a problem. The problem is how we're fixing it. Elizabeth Wisnecki says owners should be educated about the damage that non-native species can do if they escape. She says don't ban all of them all together, but the state has already written a rule that does just that. The United States Association of Reptile Keepers says that is not going to work, so they just filed a motion to throw the rule out. The state constitution gives FWC authority over wild animal life, and we're saying that the animals that we have are captive animals, they're animals under human care, they do not qualify as wild animal life. Soon a judge will decide if that argument has any teeth. So reptile lovers have a couple concerns at this point. Number one, the reptiles that are on that prohibited list. Number two, the possibility of the FWC even adding more. Back to you. Ken Suarez reporting live for us. Thank you.